it's Jenny from Ginger Ninja Crafts and I thought I would just do a little what I've been making lately kind of video um, because I've got a load of stuff that I've got on my desk and yeah I thought I would just share so there might be some um, things that are inspired by other people in which case I will link them in the description so the first things that I'm going to show you are I had, um, I ordered the collection by the lovely um, Ashley um, Paper and Twine here on YouTube. So I ordered the collection, so it came with a couple of different stamp sets, a couple of different um, stencils and the paper pad. And I had a little bit of a play with that. So I've made a couple of cards. So I've made this one. So this is her... Um, there's one of the stencils in the background you can see I've inked through and then a whole load of the fair and stamps and the um, one of our sentiments and this is a bit of our patterned papers so I made that one and I made this one that I've not popped a sentiment on yet I can't decide if I want to put a sentiment on it um, I might just leave it and then if I need a card for an occasion I can add a sentiment on or I might just use it as a just because card. So these are little background, it's like a sort of pebbly stamp and then there's the little ferns and the thistle and again this is some of her papers. Um, and then while I was playing with that, I also made some, what are they called, ATC 50p, 50 pence ATCs, I can't remember, sorry, Purple Nana, who is Linda, she I think came up with the idea and she's created an Instagram account which is just all about these coins and then the lovely Willie Steph created a template that you can print off and um, as long as it's at 100% on your printer then it's the right size because I couldn't figure out how to, <laughs> how to make like a 50 pence piece at the right size so I think they are like two and a half inches across yes they're two and a half inches across so I have got a template that I've kept but so I made these with Ashley's collection this is like a partial bit of one of her um, sentiments and then there's the thistle and a bit of the background is one of her big stamps and then the paper. So I made some of those. So I've got a few be happies. Be happy, be happy, be happy. Excuse my finger. I tried to cut it off when I was cutting into a um, hot cross bun the other day. Easter problems. <laughs> so it's quite sore um, and the night before I tried to chop off the tip of my pinky with a tin can I was washing for the recycling so I really shouldn't be doing anything with sharps or cutting devices I think um, and then these ones I made just with the background stamp the ferns and then relax and I added some little doodling around the edge. So I've got a few of those. And then these, I don't know why I've only made three of these. But um, this one is her stencil. So there's a lovely honeycomb stencil in the background. And then this kind of swirly stamp. I, you can see I sort of heat embossed that. That was from her collection too. And I heat embossed it partially in a sort of coppery colour and partially in black. And then lovely Lorna Callahan sent me some of these little cats. I think they must be from her painty papers. Um, so I've added some of the cats on and written meow randomly around. So... I have this one too. I'm not sure the cat stands out terribly well. I maybe need to do a little shadow around it or something. And then I just heat embossed around the outside in black. Yeah, I think maybe they need a little shadow outline or something. And then these ones, I had sprayed some card with... Uh, I think that one is all 
Distress Oxide Sprays. And then I just added some thistles around it and the sentiment and then with a white gel pen did some little extra details. So there's a couple of those. Oh, and a third one. And then one random pink and yellow one. So I made all of those 50 ATC coins. So I will link, I'll link Willie Steph's video where she has the template and I'll link Purple Nana's Instagram and the Instagram that's specifically about the um, 50p ATCs. And then I made one set of twinches. <laughs> But I thought they were so cute. I um I don't know if anybody else is like me, but you kind of troll through eBay looking at some of the the sort of cheap and cheerful stuff that people are getting rid of out their craft room. And this was a set of stamps. It's like got different silhouettes from I think like the sixties and the seventies and the eighties maybe. So this was the kind of seventies with the bell bottoms and the um like Saturday Night Fever kind of dance pose. So I've called these first on the dance floor. So again, it's just sprayed on and the little glitter ball, um, I heat embossed that and added a bit of, it's meant to be the sort of the lights. So, and I've just drawn on some musical notes. So that's my little, so they're all kind of the same, but different drippers depending on the the spray so that's the ATC twin shade ATC coin bit um, then I was watching um, Antonio I'll link his uh, channel below and he was making some origami butterflies and I watched it um, and I thought oh, Oh, I don't think I'll manage to do that. I'm all fingers and thumbs. As you can see, I'm literally trying to cut bits of fingers off. So I thought, oh, I don't think I'll manage that. Um, however, he made it look really simple. So I followed his instructions and I managed. So I have got some little different ones. So I've got this little rosy one. And... Wrong way. A little um, sort of patterned one. I think uh, Margaret Flaxman sent me this paper for my birthday, I think. A little pinky one. I think I need to slightly get them in better shape. And then this one. And then I, oh, and a little rosy one. And then I had um, some little, um, like a, it's a book about the Bro the Bruins and Willie, which are Scottish cartoons that are in one of the Sunday papers here every week. And so I made little cartoon ones. As you see, I said to Antonio, I thought I couldn't. I went from, oh, I don't think I'll manage that, to slightly addicted and making loads of them. So I've got a, a bundle of origami butterflies that I need to figure out what I'm going to do with those. And then, I think the last video I put up was me making my little owly journal. So I decided to have a bit of a play with making some kind of embellishment-y things that I could put in. And I went a bit overboard. So I made some of these little owls. So some of them have got little... Um, eyes like that and some of them have got googly eyes so I made those this one this one and this one and this one now those are just the ones I haven't done anything extra with because then I made a set of ATC coins so I just got some sort of night sky kind of or sky paper and added a little branch so there's that one there's a wee brown one I kind of love the wee cross eyed um, the googly eyes and that one's kind of purple with the sad eyes so I made some of those and then I've got a punch which is just slightly yeah it's bigger than a twinchy 
um, but it's like a little scalloped square so again I just made some of these you can see I did a lot of owls and then I decided to make um, a little kind of hidden paper clip bookmark for my journal so this is the one in the, the journal so it's just um, you can't see because it's hidden but there's a paper clip in there and then I just popped the paper clip sandwiched in between the two different papers and then I popped the owly on and I decided to make some more so a couple of these have got I had people in mind that they're going to go to um, but I've got a spare one and I've got quite a few spare owly bits so I thought for those of you that have watched through to the end I would do a little secret giveaway so if you let me think I should have thought about what word I want you to use don't use the word giveaway um because that will give the game away if you could use the word is owl too easy use the word owl if you're interested in putting going in for my um secret giveaway now today is good friday is it the 15th um so next friday whatever that date is I have my calendar from lovely Christine's cards and things so yeah it's the 15th today so on the 22nd I will check out who has all used the word owl in a comment under this video I will put those names in a hat and pull one out um, and then that person can get a little bundle of bits that I've made um, and if anybody is interested in swapping um, the ATC coin, a twinshe, a 50p ATC coin then please just mention in the comments and um, I will make sure to put my email address in the description for this video too so leave me a comment to say that you'd like to do a swap and um send me an email and then i'll know to keep an eye out for emails because sometimes they seem to randomly end up in um the spam folder even if it's somebody that sent me emails before i don't understand it um so yeah so that is what i have been making oh Well, there was one more thing. Oh, here it is. I got, I ordered myself a die set from Crafter's Companion, this one. Um, I think I was looking for something to tip me over a free postage. <laughs> um, so it is the Botanical Bunny and it's one of these ones that you can create a shaped card. So I made a few Easter cards. I didn't manage to make them make that many I kind of ran out of time but this is what I have managed to make as you can see um, so yeah so I know a couple of people have got theirs already and um, as I say I didn't manage to make one for everybody but I thought I'll just do a few for a few random people that I thought um, it might might brighten their day a wee bit so that is that so yes so if you are interested in going into the draw for a giveaway use the word owl in a comment before friday the 22nd and if you would like to do a swap let me know in the comments and drop me an email all right thanks for watching have a lovely easter weekend and i'll see you very soon bye now